Hello friends, I am Ram Negi. Welcome you all on my journey to Jaipur, and welcome to the special episode of Sunday Ka Funda, where we'll be telling you the practical things along with the gate concepts. So guys, two types of flyovers you have usually seen on the basis of support provided to the slab. Okay, how was support provided? One is this, and another type is this kind of flyover. This type of flyover you are seeing that. The support provided to the slab is by the columns. Okay, of course the river is also going out there, so minimum grade of concrete required to construct in the water is M30. So these pillars will be of M30, and all the slabs which are jointed by one another by providing expansion joint in between so that they can expand in the summers. Okay, so all those slabs are supported on the columns. Then. The columns will be on the foundations, and the ultimate load of whole traffic, including the dead load, is transferring to the soil. Okay, now this is one type of uh, you can say type of flyover where the support has been provided to pillars. Okay, let us go to other type. And in this type of flyover, guys, there are no columns. Okay, throughout the length of the flyover, all the slab that is there is supported on the soil. Usually, this kind of flyover, where there is no columns and the total traffic, even see above, the total traffic, uh, the slab is carrying the weight and the load of the traffic and the load of the dead load of the columns here or the dead load of the slab here, all is transferring to the soil. You can see here. Now, guys, the question is that you have seen two kinds of flyovers. Okay, for which conditions? What type of flyover? Either there is columns or there is soil. For what conditions? What type of flyover is suitable? Let us go on the studio and directly see that for what conditions, what type of flyover will be most suitable. Let us go there. Thank you. Hello, dear friends. Flyover is provided to avoid an obstacle. Now, usually it is made up of concrete, but sometimes. the steel girders or the steel beams are provided here to resist the heavy loads now usually you have seen while going through the highway that either the flyover is like this where there is a gap in between and the slab is supported by the pillars the concrete pillars and sometimes you have seen the flyover like this okay that uh, this load whatever going here is supported on the soil okay and that is throughout the length of the flyover now what are the conditions that where we should be using type 1 or type 2 that depends on certain factors as a civil engineer you should know this because what happens guys yesterday only engineering services interview dates has been announced in engineering services na there are three types of questions asked first conceptual second the concepts that will be used in experiments or practicals in these two questions student is very comfortable because he has cleared the written exam that means his concepts are strong but when they ask the question related to field then those questions especially those students who are just fresher and not having uh, experience they sometimes lack in that so these kind of questions are asked that where to use what factors will decide that either you are going with type 1 or type 2 first thing is utilization guys irrespective of the site condition site condition means the soil bearing capacity irrespective of the economy if you want a clear passage here suppose a traffic is moving in perpendicular direction to this a road is coming perpendicular direction to this so you have to construct like type 1 because here the road cannot be uh, make like this okay might be as uh, at a certain time uh, there it is provided a small uh, culvert but maximum time this will supported by the retaining walls so if you want the free passage then of course you have to make for the type 1 next thing is length and let me take the two factors together length and height if the length of the flyover and the height of the flyover is very high you just imagine that in all those flyovers that you have been gone through 
in all those if the length is very very high or the height is very very high then always type 1 is preferred always in this case type 1 is preferred because if the height is very high or if the length is very high or fly or length is very large of the flyover then huge amount of soil has to be put there and retaining wall has to be done and more is the height then the pressure will be k gamma h because mostly it will be active pressure wall will go here only na, not inside okay so that h will be more this active pressure will be very high okay so whenever the length of the flyover is very long and the height is very long so providing that much soil is uneconomical also and apart from that it is not that much safe also so you have to construct the type 1 there okay now guys site conditions it also depends on the site conditions guys suppose when we are making the budget then type 1 and type 2 are almost equal and soil is readily available in that site then you can go for the type 2 because here guys millions of cubic meters of soil has to be required to fill okay to fill here and then compaction will be done okay and guys it is not like that it is only type 1 type 2 there are many flyovers which is combination of type 1 and type 2 there are many flyovers which are type 1 only there are many flyovers which are type 2 only and there are many flyovers which are type 1 and type 2 both at initial slopes it is type 1 uh, type 2 and then later on when the maximum height of the slab is reached there it is type 1 so it is also it is not like that it is only type 1 or type 2 so now site conditions guys suppose the soil is not very high bearing capacity and the punching failure may be done with this so we have to distribute the load to the larger area suppose soil is very weak what is happening here that whole load is transferring to certain points okay but here the whole load is transferred to whole area suppose the base of this is rectangular or whatever whole it is distributed so if the bearing capacity of soil is less then we have to go for this okay because here the total load is coming in very small area okay and next is future aspects might be till now everything is fine the bearing capacity is high you can do or you can make like this and length is also flyover is less so length less height less so you can go for this but might be in future due that city is a developed phase it is in it is coming in a developed phase okay new roads may be coming there new projects may be coming there some intersection may be there bypass may be there so in that case also although at present it is not required but might be after some time a perpendicular road may be coming so that also has to be taken care of okay so i hope guys you enjoyed today's sunday ka funda okay you can also join me in my telegram group civil by abhinav sir where more than 5000 students have already joined guys okay and this sunday ka funda is liked by all of you guys so very thank you and i'm waiting for your comments what more video you like because this video in some of my previous Sunday Ka Funda, someone has written in comments. So, I was eagerly, I will be eagerly waiting for your comments that what more videos you want. Thank you. Take care. Like and share the video. Thank you.